Timberwolves guard Zach Levine is known for his high-flying, gravity-defying slam dunks. When he won the NBA dunk contest this year, he put a portion of the prize money to use for a very good cause. Dave McCoy was there. He got to see for the first time what his gift made possible. And David, I know the cool thing about this story, it really kind of goes beyond a typical story about just someone donating money. Months ago, he started volunteering at Metro Deaf School in St. Paul. When he found out they badly needed a new kitchen, he used $10,000 he got from winning the slam dunk contest and paid for it all. Who knew a dunk could do so much good? We've been for five years fundraising for a kitchen, trying to get this just renovated where we can, it's going to function. Um, and he said, we can make it happen, we'll figure it out. Today, Zach Levine returned to see the finished product. It was nice. It looks a lot better than what it was. So at least they, are, they, can, uh, they can socialize and have their own meals now. That's the, that's the main thing. So it's going to be cool. But this is deeper than a one-time donation. Levine has been here three times before, playing games and reading with the kids. It's about more than money. He used his interest in sign language to form a unique, meaningful connection with local kids. Well, I think it's easy for any celebrity to do a one-day thing. You go in, you get a lot of media publicity. Yay, I'm giving back, I'm doing... Like, he comes numerous times with no media. Every time he comes, he's like talking with the kids, he's interacting. But I think the biggest piece has been that he signs. Yeah, the first time I did it, you know, I did a couple of signs or I talked to them or, you know, I spelled out their name. You know, I'm not fluent with it like I used to be. You know, I'm not, I'm not the best like they are. You know, sometimes they lose me. But just seeing, like, oh, wow, he can, you know, he can do this is, uh, is kind of cool. I think it's very nice and it makes communication much easier for us with him. You know, they look up to me and I, I can, you know, make their day brighter or something like that is, uh, you know, I'm all for it. So it's, uh, I think it's really cool. Levine's donation covered a new refrigerator, sinks, cabinetry, the whole deal. Before this, the school had to cater every meal. Guys, I've been to a lot of these athlete charity function mm -hmm. type of things. This was different. You could see a genuine connection with the kids, especially when you watch the kids sign with him. Here they got this superstar athlete, and he's speaking their language. It's a very cool That's moment. wonderful. Why did he start to learn it in high school? Do you know? Or you did know you he ask? said, you know, he didn't want to take Spanish. He just wanted to do something different. And he mm -hmm. said, him and a buddy decided, you know what, if we can do sign language, we can do signs. This, they kind of joke like uh, almost like baseball players from the dugout. When they're on the basketball court, they can uh -huh. signal things to uh -huh. each other. He thought that would be kind of fun. Wanted to do something different, so he picked up ASL. And look what it led to. I yeah. mean, for those kids, it's all just very, wonderful. Very, very cool. That's great. Yeah. Well, that's nice. One yeah. nice story. Thank you, David.